I think I installed the greatest mod I've ever seen. I can tell this is a mod for the boys and the boys only. We've done it. We've installed the Schizo mod. When people say that they've been seen whenever they watch like a movie or like play a game, like, I never understood that feeling until now. This is the first time I've ever felt true representation in my entire life. So many options to choose here, but we're going with the main character. Main character gaming is like playing Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2. Had to check to make sure Norway wasn't Hyperborean. Leaving no stones unturned. I will make sure I find any secret Hyperboreans over here. Uh, uh, Mr. Obama Biden! Uh, uh, you woke up. This is what we need. Will you shut up, man? Oriad is unsiv, so we gotta go in and take what we can. We gotta do it while it's still a cakewalk. Hitting them with the oldest strategy in the book. Walk forward. They're trying to hide from me. I'm not evil. I see myself as more of a traditionalist here. I'm preserving the Mongol culture of warfare and conquest and sacking cities. Feels like I'm playing Hoi 4 right now and I'm battling the Soviet Union. I wonder when they're gonna capitulate. Yeah, I mean, okay, I mean, that looks so... Apparently, apparently, I didn't put the right provinces down. Now I get that ugly ass border gore. Well, since I'm stuck here, I might as well invade someone to pass the time. Having a little horse race here. Got my horses horsing around having a race trying to cap this country. I'm painting a really nice map here. I like how it's coming out so far. I'm looking at this map to see how to make it worse, actually. I'm getting sieged, holy shit. Can I come through? Come on, man. Ah, oh, fuck. Never join a war in the Balkans, I swear. Not my war, so I don't care. Get out of here. Khan Joe Biden marches forward to claim the Oriat. Look, here, listen, man, I don't care. I don't care about your, uh... Your, your sovereign nation, your borders, we're going in. God gave us Adam and Eve, and Adam and Eve are supposed to inherit the entire world because they're God's children. We're all children of God. And so when I invade the world, really, I'm uniting God's people. It makes me sorrow when I see dead people on the battlefield, because that's, that's my brother. We're all brothers here. And now you made me kill you because of an arbitrary map color. They say thousands will die for this great heavenly kingdom. Well, I correct them. Millions. Millions will die. And that's... That's what I say. That's how it is. That's just what it is, man. The Mongol Empire is coming together. We're getting the whole gang involved. Khan Joe Biden comes to Afghanistan. What will he do? I don't know. It's a mystery. A Martin mystery. What can I say, Mr. Biden? That was pretty easy. The last stand of the Oryat is upon us here. They were a worthy adversary. My favorite part is when they sat there and I walked into their country and they died. You know, I'd probably surrender too if Joe Biden and a horse army came into my house. You know, that's just how it is. I'm so happy for our infamy reduction in this mod. I can finally map paint in peace. Let's keep going east. We're gonna get all of our cores and we're gonna form Mongolia. I'm gonna need some gamer tunes here for a real gamer conquest. My life is like a video game, trying not to be the stage show while I'm still collecting coins. Here. You know, people make fun of that song, but that song goes hard, alright? That's a gamer anthem. I'm so nostalgic for 2010's music now. It's taken over my life. I'm the guy who's still listening to 303. Never forget this, okay? That's right, I'm the guy still listening to RAR XD music in the year 2022. That's me. Help. At least I'm not dressing like the lead singer of Green Day. That dude is forever trapped in the late 80s. He'll never make it out. Sometimes I forget I'm at war. I'm just going off on a tangent. Maybe I am Joe Biden. I'm like... Joe Biden, if he had to listen to Kesha on the radio as a kid. Very troublesome thought. Alright, gentlemen. We win. Winners who win. Wow, China looks like a mess right now. But I wonder if I can make it worse. I'm pondering this thought. My brain is always thinking about 
how can I make this map just fucked up? I'm making the world a better place through conquest and painting. Alright, I won. Boo hoo. Do you guys want a white piece or do I have to salt the earth? I'm glad I had to burn your city to tell you I don't want to conquer you. One more war and I become Mongolia. I forgot the province I needed to uh, form my LARP map. The deed is done. Now we can become Mongolia. I can find. There it is. This is definitely a moment. If I can invade Korea in one war, I'm gonna do it. Anyo haseyo. Right here, we're invading China to complete the role play. No geopolitics. I'm role playing. People will die for role play accuracy. If I could save a life, I would. But that'd be fail RP. Can a man not look at his map in peace without getting declared war on? Nobody starts a war if they think they're gonna lose, but... I don't know what they are thinking here. Now I get my border gore. This is all I wanted. This is too much for me. What are y'all doing over here? With Russia beaten, I can go back to doing what matters. Invading China. We gotta do this a few times and... We should get a funny map. All I want is a fucked up map. What is wrong with me? Why did I do this? I kinda asked for random spots. I didn't think they'd give it to me. But you know, they did. Because I'm very charismatic. The Japanese government collapsed? Well, I'm very sorry to hear about that. This right here is the kind of map Genghis Khan and Kublai Khan. This is the kind of map they were inspiring for. They're looking down on me right now, and they're like, You did it, champ. And I'm like, Thank you. It was about time I fix everything. You can't keep an ugly map forever. The Mongols and the Dutch splitting China just as Tingri intended. Invade China? I must. Situate it. I am not. Never enough. Bloodshed I seek. The mandate you have lost. Consequences, yes. I think this is all I want from China. I think I'm done. Now I can move on and do other cool stuff like invading other countries. I'm a very complex man. He's back. I mean, I'm back. Joe Biden. Hell yeah. I think it's about time we destroy Novgorod. I don't want to see them here anymore. Got my Mongol boys going up. We're gonna get them good when the war actually starts. I don't know if the AI is gonna confront me or anything. But if they do, it'll be kinda cool. Oh, they're a failed state. Some days you're having lunch with your family, everything's going great. And then the next day, you're killing conscripts of Novgorod like it's nothing. Yeah, y'all probably should have sent this at the start of the war. But you know, better late than never. This one's for you, Kupla. I read your book, The Art of War, and I was like, that book, that's, that's the method. That's the method in which man can be a combine harvester, a killing machine, a fellow man. And I was like, how do we incorporate that into public parks and recreation? The shorthand answer of the story is, you don't. I'm so happy they didn't put up a fight. Hallelujah. I always did feel like the world was missing a great war. And who am I but the Mongol Empire to bring it? Oh yeah, the gang's all here. I don't like how fast I'm able to walk into Poland. Is this a trap? You know, maybe it's not a trap. In the universe, they really like me. Now this is a real war. Classical music and machine guns and gas going off, you know. That's how men used to do it. Like, the Geneva Convention? Never heard of it. I'm gonna use my gas weapons here. In fact, I don't think I even got a pop-up to sign it this game. So, the gas is going off. To say this war is going well is an understatement. It's going awesome. It's going crazy. The French are so nice, we're able to just walk into the country. Yeah, I mean, all this looks good here. Go ahead and sign it. Voila. And that, my son, is how Joe Biden saved Europe. Yeah.